Hey guys, welcome back. If you are a regular to my channel, you may have seen my previous Netherlands episode where I visited the Scheveningen beach near Den Haag. Today I'm heading to the Maduro Dam theme park, which is just a few minutes away from the city center. This theme park is a miniature city of several areas of the Netherlands. If you are new to my channel, I recommend you to click now on the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future content. After the brief tram ride, I arrived at Maduro Dam, which was opened by Princess Beatrix on July 2nd, 1952. The entrance fee I paid on this day was 19 euros and it had to be reserved in advance due to the recent situation. So I just got inside. This is the building. This is the where you buy your tickets and everything. So uh, no real security check or anything. Now the, the, I just showed you the model of the uh, house of uh, George Maduro. He was born in, on the island of Curacao. Uh, 1916 and he was like a hero almost for the Netherlands he came to study here in the Netherlands uh, not sure what year but during the Second World War uh, he was like a I believe he was like a spy or something and people are watching me vlog and I'm gonna continue now just to get in the park so because it opens every five minutes with all the measure measures that they have everywhere now I don't see them really talking anything about uh, wearing a mask but I'm gonna put mine back on uh, in a bit once inside you get a brief but interesting presentation of the life of George Maduro who this park is dedicated to So guys, this is the Maduro Dam. This is the exhibition uh, of the miniature uh, that I was talking uh, about earlier. Um, that's the entrance. We just got a presentation. I didn't film, but I got more information on the life of George Maduro. I heard, by the way, that that's new here, the airplane. That's like, it's been here only for a while. And I'm gonna check out the place now and try to get some really cool shots i'm very excited i love these things uh my family used to have a toy store so this feels like a like um, back to my childhood a little bit what i remember these things are so so detailed so excited to check it out and i'm gonna eat something later as well gonna get in trouble the cafe is closed uh, I assume it's because of the situation and so when I get out I'm gonna try to get something to eat uh, they do have an alternative place that you can uh, eat and uh, I don't know where to start I'll probably go on the right side I was actually here uh, as a clothing store called this thing. I was here, I took a photo at this same place. So I'm gonna put it uh, in the video so you can see. So they have the miniature of uh, The Hague as well.
There's a bird. <laughs> These miniatures were built at a 125th scale model replica of famous Dutch landmarks, historical cities and large developments. The last major renovation was completed in 2012 for its 60th anniversary. Throughout the years, it has remained popular, especially with the young children and a few old ones too, like myself. While the park is not very big, it can be easily considered as one of the well-known attractions in the Netherlands, attracting tens of millions of both locals and international visitors over the years. Another interesting fact is that the entirety of the net proceeds from the park go towards various charities in the Netherlands. This is pretty cool. You can see the train coming on that screen. So it's moving around and it should be coming, I think, on this side. As I said, this is a new attraction. I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna go in. A little bit of concern about the space, but I'll probably split the group in two. The DC3 that we, we were just in, that's one of my favorite airplanes all time so it's very cool just to, to sit in it and it's got a lot of history with 
uh, not just the Netherlands, but or KLM would also with uh, it came at a time when uh, the World War II started, so it was a an important uh, aircraft, and I believe that now there are only very very few still flying around the world. I'm gonna keep uh, walking. There's so much to see here. Uh, it doesn't look all that big, but when you start walking around this place, it's really, it's, it's got so much details. I'm gonna take a couple of hours here to, to get some shots for you guys, but it's no problem. Um, and I'm so glad I did get into that airplane. been here for probably two hours already or close to two hours and I've done a complete walk around but I still feel like there's still so much details to see like you can see the place really quickly but to see the, the, the good details the small details uh, it definitely takes a couple hours Now this is Schiphol, this is where I arrived with my airplane, uh, this is the airport in Amsterdam. See the streets, you see the streets and the airport and I believe that when I arrived I was either here, seems like I was here where I took uh, the last shot next to the uh, I Amsterdam sign and the airport of Schiphol is of course very very popular the tower and it receives flights from almost all over the world I love how these trucks are just driving down the road down the highway uh, if you saw my episode uh, when we were landing you saw some of the highways here uh, near the airport and I don't know what this one is I think it might be the central station in Amsterdam I believe I haven't been there yet so it probably is there should be a sign oh no it's not Amsterdam it's Utrecht Central now you can see all of the details it has inside the Schiphol airport Here we can find the Singapore Airlines 3, Airbus 380. 
and I don't know what happened here, but I'll tell you a story. Uh, cargo planes, and DHL is obviously a cargo plane, they can flip over, I think you say. They can flip like this, so it does happen in real life. So I don't know if they did it on with the intention to with uh with the intention of uh mimicking real life but it's kind of funny actually then we have the delta airlines with, uh, which i flew with to japan we have other uh airplanes i'll go to on the other side in a moment and you can see the air bridges that move and one very very interesting detail and that's what i'm trying to say with the details is that we see all the bags are running underground now i'm not an expert about it but i assume that um the bags actually in real life like they probably do uh run underground check out these solar panels on top of this building pretty cool and with the grass roof is uh the transavia building so transavia is a a local um airline and skip hall real estate i'm not sure what the, this building is but it houses probably a transavia and what would be a visit to the netherlands without heineken right the the beer and this is the uh where they make the beer uh, i'm gonna try to get on the other side of it This is like one I did in Miami where you learn a little bit about an airplane, how it maneuvers. So when I move this, it tries to lift. And when I do that, it'll go down. And I'm not sure what this one is for. Oh, okay. It really actually flies. Okay, okay. This is a power, probably. Yep, that's the power. So it goes high, and then... So it gives you an idea how the airplanes actually get the lift, and that's... Um, how do you say it? that's that's uh, one of the basic airplanes that you learn to fly in and I did want this uh, I did one like this one in Miami at the airport uh, but it wasn't working so this one this one is working and this is the factory where they make Heineken and again I'm not an expert on all these buildings by no means so if i have them wrong don't take me the bad way <laughs> So basically, as you can see, this is just 
like a miniature of uh, highlights of the Netherlands and it's I don't know I haven't been to anything like this elsewhere but it's really interesting because uh, you can learn about the different uh, things here in the Netherlands like obviously the Netherlands is under most of the countries under water under the sea level and that is a huge deal over here so they have almost like they say they have built the Netherlands uh, by reclaiming uh, sea sea uh, sea land and not sea water in this case but sea land uh, filled up uh, with dikes and such You can even see the factories are detailed here in Maduro Dam and then uh, like the ships, the ferries, cruise ships, boats, all very, very much detailed. You can see the people in the ships. This looks like a coast guard or something. I'm gonna try to get onto that side. I think I haven't been there yet. As much as I've walked, I don't remember being there. Now, the reason I came onto this side is the Netherlands is a huge uh, exporter of flowers. And so I'm going to check out this last part, which I think is dedicated to this uh, industry and this part of the country. Now, these are the tulips, right? And in real life, they are extremely nice to see. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it on this trip. But who knows, maybe one day I'll come back and check them out. So I hope you like the Maduro Dam here in The Hague, the Den Haag. And I had a great time actually. I would want to stay a little bit more, but I'm pretty hungry right now. I haven't eaten, I haven't had lunch and it's getting pretty late. I think it's like 4, 4.30 and they close at five. And as you say, as, as you can see, I give you one last, like a panorama um, of this place. Now, it doesn't look, again, it doesn't look too, too big, but when you start, once you start walking around there's a lot of details as you saw in the videos it's a little bit cold i'm not accustomed to uh talking while it's so cold and i'm gonna check out some souvenirs now maybe now we do have a shop so a souvenir shop and i do believe that there is a taste of holland like like a cafe i'm not sure what they have there for for uh, eating So guys, I hope you liked this episode. Remember to subscribe and like this video. I'll have more videos from the Netherlands. And nothing further to add. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Now, the reason I came onto the side is that, as you know, uh, the net the little you know a grown-up ch child I've grown I've uh, well music
remember to subscribe i'll have more videos and see you next time bye ah.